Hey guys, Rylan, Four Wheel Online, with this week's News Refresh. Tesla has been dominating headlines for the past year, but now Toyota's new hydrogen powered car has been stealing the spotlight. Are hydrogen cars really the future? Let's find out. Toyota's new Mariah isn't a futuristic concept car. It's a full-on production car that will be sold and leased in California next year for $57,000. Toyota is just one player in a massive push with Honda, Hyundai, and Volkswagen to bring hydrogen cars to the market. Toyota and California taxpayers are clearly excited enough about hydrogen-powered vehicles to put a lot of money into backing it. In fact, the state of California has pledged $200 million to the construction of 100 new hydrogen fueling stations and Toyota is paying for your Philips at those stations for the first three years. However, when we compare fuel cell cars to the rest of the automotive market, our enthusiasm begins to lose power. The Mariah claims a competitive range of 300 miles, and that's 200 miles more than your average electric vehicle, and 35 more than the Tesla Model S. And for $57,000, it's significantly cheaper than the $82,000, 265-mile battery Model S as well but that's where the advantages seem to stop. For almost $60,000, you aren't getting a luxury or sports car like the Tesla. You're getting a 153 horsepower Toyota. Cost of refueling is also an issue for hydrogen technology as well. For $60,000, you'd expect the cost of refueling the car to be negligible, right? I mean, after all, it's just hydrogen. Well, Toyota is actually expecting that filling up your tank will cost an estimated $1,500 annually. That's equal to about $50 per fill-up. $50 for 300 miles? You'd pay less than half that with Toyota's own gas-powered Prius. Despite hydrogen's abundance, the production of it still isn't necessarily cheap or green. In fact, 95% of hydrogen is produced from fossil fuels, not water. Unfortunately, electrolysis of water remains uncompetitive with hydrogen production by way of coal or natural gas, as electrolysis requires large amounts of energy or electricity. So in a sense, you're using electricity to produce hydrogen to produce electricity. In the end, hydrogen powered cars are far from being competitive with battery powered or even fuel efficient gas powered vehicles. But what do you guys think about the future of hydrogen? Will it eventually be able to compete with gas or battery powered cars? Or is Toyota just on a fool's errand with their new hydrogen powered car? Let us know in the comments below so we can keep this discussion going. That's the latest automotive news for this week, but be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest stories and don't forget to roll on over to Four Wheel Online for all of your Black Friday savings. I'm Ryland and you've been refreshed.